Hi guys, I'm here to talk about the biggest mistake that men make during sex. Now if you haven't watched my accompanying video slash article, the biggest mistake women make during sex, go and do that. Now when I wanted to do this one, I sat down and of course, the first thing that came to mind was, it's called a clitoris, use it. But then I thought, no, 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 that's not fair because my other video was what women can do to make sex better for themselves, so this video has to follow suit. It's not about what men can do to be better for women in the bedroom, it's what they can do to be better for themselves. Now I wanna start off this lesson with a little bit of a story. Now a few years ago when I was ending a long-term relationship, um, I was being petty at the final conversation because everyone's got talent and that happens to be one of mine and in my pettiness, I said to this dude, just so you know, I faked a lot of orgasms in this relationship. Now I wasn't lying, I was being honest, and I wanted to hurt his pride a little bit, and he looked me dead in the face and he said, is that supposed to hurt my pride? Well just so you know, you aren't the best sex partner I've ever had before. And I was all like, okay, I don't, so I went to bed a little hurt, fell asleep, and then at three in the morning, like a bat out of hell, I woke up like, <gasps> It's not my fault, I sucked, it was his fault. And here is why. He was a silent partner. He never said anything, he never gave any instructions. When I was doing the do, I would be like, do you like that, does this work? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Not till I'm getting the results that I want. Are you sure this is what works for you? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's great. You're doing, you're doing great. The next day, I might be like, hey, last night, you know, about what we did, what did you think? Did you like this, did you like that? Yeah, it was all good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's a woman out there, obviously, who topped the list, who was able to magically guess what the fuck you like, but I wasn't able to do that. Which brought me to the conclusion that that is the biggest mistake that men make during sex, is that they are silent. Men, I'm gonna charge you. Find what your sexual language is and start speaking it. You will never get what you want out of your partner if you're not able to vocalize or verbalize it in a number of different ways. Now the first way that men can go about expressing what they enjoy in the bedroom is in the actual act itself. Make some sounds. If something feels good, make a sound. If it doesn't feel great, go silent. And if you use this, people will pick up pretty quickly whether or not they're doing something that you like or that you don't like. Now, if you're not comfortable making sounds, because a lot of men just don't like the thought of making those sounds, <laughs> you can also verbalize. Hey, that feels good. Ooh, that feels really great. A little to the left, go a little faster. Whatever it is, you can give instructions. People want to learn. Even though most of us want to act sexually that we just like figure it all out and we have it, we also have to know that nobody is an expert on anybody's body. So if you don't have a partner who asks, that doesn't mean you wait for them to ask. You start using your sexual love language off the top. So another way that you can go about instructing a woman to do what you like during sex is after sex. You know, when things have cooled down, start with what I call a compliment sandwich, which is always great. Hey girl. I really, really just love the way that you moved your hips. It was like, it was really hot to watch. But next time, I'm not really down with the back and forth movement. I kind of prefer the up and down. So if you wouldn't mind, I like what you were doing. It was sexy and it was hot and it looked amazing. But what really gets me going is an up and down motion. Great, she feels great. She knows better for next time. You verbalized it, you're gonna have better sex and everybody is a winner. So, men out there who are silent, who don't express themselves, who don't teach their partner, you are standing in the way of having your best orgasm. You are standing in your way of experiencing a new plateau of pleasure and all you have to do is open la bouche, open la bouche and verbalize it and things will get a little bit better for you. I actually had a partner once in my teens who used to orgasm just like this. I have completed. Oh, you're, you're done? Yes, I'm, I'm, I've orgasmed. What?
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, you them fingers and make the like button go like this. And also leave a comment below. And in addition, I want to hear from you guys. Have you ever experienced a partner who was silent or are you a culprit of this? And if I got it totally wrong, leave a comment below and tell me what you think the biggest mistake that men make during sex for their own pleasure. Not for your pleasure, women. We're not talking about you right now. We're talking about how to make sex better for men and what is the biggest mistake that they make which stops them from getting to the promised land. Till the next time. Oh, and also this video has an accompanying article that is going to be placed on wdish.com. So go in the comment section below and hit that link and read it and um, keep up with the conversation over there. Bye.